Hello and welcome to Military Printables. Today we're making an Up movie inspired care package. Up is one of my favorite Disney Pixar movies of all time so I'm really excited about this project today. I'm going to start by sending my cut file to my silhouette cameo. I'm going to be making a bunch of paper balloons today so this is going to save me a lot of time. I will be using the same cut file with different colored cardstock. I start by slowly peeling off what I cut out and then I have my balloons ready to go and I don't have to hand cut them all. Once I have all of my colored balloons, I will start assembling the care package flaps. I chose a pattern piece of cardstock that resembles the sky. If you cut a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock in half, it covers one large care package flap almost perfectly. I then start laying my balloons on color by color. I'm using a simple glue stick to adhere them, but you can use other quick drying mediums like double stick tape or glue dots. I wanted to scatter the color of the balloons around to resemble the balloons in the movie. As you are layering, try to fill any empty spaces to make the balloon bunch as full as possible. Once all of your balloons are on the flap, press down on them one last time to make sure they all stay. We'll set this flap aside and work on the next flap, which is the bottom flap. I'm going to take my other half of the sky pattern cardstock for this flap, and I just want to add some quote-unquote grass here um, for my up house. So I'm just measuring it to the size I want. I designed the up house in Adobe Illustrator from scratch. I then printed it and then cut it with the silhouette cameo. I'm just lightly marking with a pencil where I want the green cardstock to be cut. To cut the grass, I'm going to be using an X-Acto knife and ruler, but you can use scissors or a paper trimmer. So I totally failed at the X-Acto knife and ruler method. <laughs> it doesn't work every time. That's okay, I'll just be using my craft scissors to just straighten it out and cut off the excess as best I can. The beauty of this project is that it's going on a care package and I can blame the imperfections on the mailman. <laughs> Just kidding. But really, since it's an up movie care package, I think the imperfections just add to the whimsiness of it all. I've already adhered the green car stuck to the base with some more of my glue stick, and it's time to add my house. I'm just eyeballing it to see where it'll look the best, um, and then it's just more of that glue stick to put it on. I'm also pulling back uh, that left flap with the balloons in order to help position the house as well. I chose to decorate this care package with the movie Up because Up is one of me and my husband's favorite movies of all times. I've seen it at least five times and I cannot get through the first 10 minutes without tearing up. It's one of the sweetest movies about love, friendships, and relationships that I've ever seen. If you haven't seen the movie Up, definitely check it out. Alright, next we'll move on to the top flap, which I'm going to decorate so it resembles the cover of Carl and Ellie's adventure book. I found this really cool font that sort of resembles a font in the book, so um, I've created another cut file and I've used my trusty silhouette cameo to cut out the letters. That machine is such a lifesaver, I can't even tell you. I'm now arranging them in preparation to go on the top flap. Once that is done, I'm using more of that glue stick to adhere these letters on there. You may have noticed that I've glued the letters a little off-center. Um, that's because my plan is to put something on the left side so it resembles the binding of the book. Off-camera, I actually tried putting burlap on there, but I didn't end up liking it, so I took it off. Um, then I just dug and dug through my crafting stash and then decided on this really cool copper burgundy glitter washi tape um, to put on that left side. This will give the book just a little bit more sparkle. Sparkle. After I place that washi tape on there, I'm going to be using my handy dandy craft scissors uh, to go back and cut off some of the excess. I'm going to set the top flap aside and then go back to the bottom flap where I will be doing some stamping and embossing. Okay, back to the bottom flap. I've got all my stamping and embossing supplies here, an acrylic block, some alphabet stamps, uh, some Versamark ink, and some Ranger embossing powder in black. I've already stamped um, the first part of the sentiment right there, and as you can see, the embossing added some really nice sheen there. I'm going to uh, put the stamps on my acrylic block, add some Versamark ink on that, and then stamp the last part of the sentiment on there. Embossing is one of my favorite uh, techniques to use just because it adds a nice subtle dimension to it that you just don't get with regular printing. 
as you can see I put uh, the last of my sentiment on there but I'm missing an E because I already used it in the first part <laughs> of the sentiments so I just gotta ink it really fast right here I then use my ranger embossing powder and pour that over what I just inked um, I should have used my powder tool on this before but what are you gonna do I just forgot <laughs> That uh, explains all the extra blemishes that you see on there, but it's okay. Those can be wiped off with a brush or flicked off. Once all the excess powder is off, I'm going to heat up my uh, heat gun here. I got that off of Amazon. Um, it fits my needs right now, so it works for me. Um, you gotta you need to get that heat gun nice and hot before you emboss so it doesn't warp your paper as much. And then just let the heat gun do the magic and it'll melt that powder right on there. As you can see, it adds a nice sheen to it and it just looks cool. Let's quickly recap what we have here. We have the top flap, the right flap, the bottom flap, and the left flap. If you notice, I have a mailbox on the right flap. Um, that was uh, an easy mailbox. I designed an illustrator and then used the Cameo to cut it out and adhered it to the right flap. I'm going to go back and work on the left flap and the bottom flap. I'm just using a regular pen to add some balloon strings. You can either use this method or use actual strings. Um, for time's sake, I'm just going to use a pen to quickly draw these strings in there. If you're going to use strings, uh, just keep in mind that you want the care package flap to still close, so you don't want the string to get caught on anything that's inside the care package. I'm going to go back to the right flap and then add a picture to that empty space above the mailbox. I like adding a personal photo just because it adds you know, that uh, extra touch and personalizes that care package. Now this is not a picture of me and my husband. He's a little camera shy, so this is actually a picture pulled from a magazine. Um, but of course, you can use your personal pictures for your care package. I then am using some scrap paper for that's left over from the top half of the care package and just cutting little photo corners uh, to add to the picture. I think this just um, makes it a little more interesting than just a regular photo sitting there. After this demo is over, um, I'm going to be re replacing that picture with a real photo of me and my husband. Uh, this care package will be going to him um, on his TDY or TAD depending on your branch assignment and so I'm using just a glue stick because I know it's not going anywhere terribly hot and it won't take that long to get there. So let's recap what we have here. We got our top flap which is the cover of our adventure book. We have the right flap with a personalized photo and a personalized mailbox. And then we have the bottom flap, that, which says, you're my favorite adventure, one of the best quotes in the movie. And the top left flap, which is, of course, the famous balloon bunch that's um, featured in the movie. This was a really fun care package to make. I just added some tissue paper that had a balloon design on it um, in the care package. I loved all the bright colors, I loved the dimension of the, the care package, I loved all the different techniques I used for this care package. I mean, anyone receiving this uh, who loves Movie Up, I think will truly appreciate it. If you're interested in the supplies that I used in this care package, uh, they are listed below as well as on the Military Printables blog. Also, I've included some free printables on the blog as well. Thanks!